Look at pick here. We have Clint and Minotaur, and we have Saber picked once again from Team ADC here, as well as Bruno. And let me restart. Um, yeah, it's very interesting, and uh, we're interesting issue here now. We have Bruno and Saber picked, and it looks like it's confirmed. Now MS Chaos and pick. They have Karina, and let, let's see where MS Chaos Panda is going with this. They actually end up getting Fanny, so they have two assassins, two tank, and one AD. Um, a little bit of everything. I think this is, this is going to be a really interesting game. Meanwhile, uh, Jerry um, is going to pick up Estes. And after he confirmed the Estes pick, we're going to have free uh, exchange phase. So, Minotaur is actually a really, really good character. So, um, this is going to be interesting because it's one of the most underrated. And if they have Fanny, we might see some early aggression. I'm not so sure. But then, we all know how much, like... You, how much Tommy understand about Fanny? So now it's free mode, and it looks like everybody's swapping. Are we gonna give is this Michael's on the ADC again, and Jason is on Kagura? Yeah, Jerry this time is going to play is this, and Tommy's still on Tigreal. Uh, and look at let's look at Lane right in a little bit. Now both are getting in. We have Karina was executed, both assassin from Team MSK is actually really squishy, they don't have any getaway skills. Um, one, one execute one with retribution. That means if they get CC'd, they're most likely going to die. This is actually pretty interesting, but at the same time, it also means their aggression is really, really their early aggression can be really, really deadly, right? Because you have a Karina on execute. Um, that means if you execute and then prop your, your passive, you can do much more damage. You can do much more damage. Now, we're gonna have Team MSK go on to the blue side, and we're gonna have Team. ADC go on the rest side. Uh, we already see Bruce Lee and Karina go on bottom lane. And we have Fanny, obviously, and Minotaur going top. Clint going mid once again. Meanwhile, uh, Michael and Tom Raymond is going top. Uh, Mike and we have Kagura going mid on um, Jason. And we also have Estes and Saber going bottom. So let's see how this game actually turned out for both sides. So. He's checking that bush. See, Jason checking that bush, which is really smart because he didn't know. Obviously, the team, um, team ADC here did not want to invade. And they have three people taking the blue buff. Fanny is going to get a blue buff. He level two. MSKI Panda. Uh, I have not seen how much, um, you know, individual players that. So I do, we don't know how many games, how many games um, MSKI Panda has with this. And um, now we see Freya coming in mid lane. And out of energy though, so just use her tornado to clean the wave faster. Clint's now level two compared to Kagura, who's also level two. And top, we have a Minotaur soloing against Michael and Tigreal. But Minotaur is playing really passive, really safe, really conservative under the tower. So he's waiting for the lane to come here. He's not rushing. He's not going anywhere. Just staying here and get the experience. <clears throat> and looks like looks like um, Fanny's almost level four, not level four yet. I mean, at this rate. He could do a quick flyby. Um, don't know what's that all about. And he's gonna miss the one minion experience, uh, which is gonna be fine. He coming in again, flyby, um, and level four now finally. And on top, on the bottom lane, so far we can still see pretty passive again. Panda is waiting for her energy to be stacked, and he's going for the small minion. Conqueror may know something's up. He's actually rotating top uh, for this monitor right here. And Tigreal and my Tigreal and Jason might think about invading. They try to get this small minion. Oh. We see him. Oh, Michael's in whole lot of trouble. Michael actually uses purify immediately to get out. He's taking so much damage. He got kicked back from Brutal's ultimate. Tigro coming in, and now we see Kara coming in as well. And nothing's gonna happen actually. Both sides are pretty tanky at this point. I mean, it doesn't seem like they, they're going to die. Clint's rotating top, but he he realized that nothing's gonna happen. He immediately retreated back to mid. So that's your farm as you know, get more farm in and push away back to the tower. And we have. Saber level four now, almost level five, and Estes staying bottom lane. Saber is rotating mid. He spotted the Fanny, and that means Saber will actually return to bottom lane now, and nothing will actually happen yet between both sides. And the farm is we're even as well. We have five fifty five hundred gold versus fifty five hundred gold uh, total farm. And Jason is invading this blue. Look. They know something's up. Tommy is coming in. Um, Jason has an umbrella in here, so he might come in and do something. And he coming in. Oh, 
Just use umbrella, not enough. We have this cow coming in, and Tommy Lee retreated backwards. We have Tommy sending a retreat signal. Meanwhile, you see since they are rotating bottom once again, they're not able to kill this Bruce Lee. I don't know why they're still staying here. Now, Tigreal. At the same time, um, it's going mid lane. He's hiding here, trying to find some find opportunity for the team. And now he's invading this red. You no, know, Fan is right here. And looks like, oh, he does have execute. Got the red and get ulted right here. And he immediately get burst. Their first block gonna go down for team ADC. Boosie coming in. Is he gonna be able to kick? No, the purify just in time. And Jerry's ultimate. And Flicker, oh, and they're going to be fine. Get the kill on the Fanny. And Fanny just get a blue buff as well. That means Fanny will be played without the blue buff for a very, very long time. Yeah, so. This is gonna be interesting, guys. If you if you do not know, this is North America Championship first game between Team ADC and Team MSKI Mesquite right here. So it's going to be it's it's really interesting. Our first game we had a lot of fun, and due to some technical issues, we're having best out of three for these two teams. And so far, Team ADC is, is enjoying this tiny lead, about 500 gold. And you have Bruno now. Just solo farming top, compared to ADC's farm. Bruno has been top the whole time, and Bruno has 1900 gold. Meanwhile, Clint has 1500 gold going mid. So Fanny now going top lane. Bruno's in a whole lot of trouble. Is Bruno gonna die? Bruno actually gonna die right here. He did, should not have turned around at that point. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Saber did get a kill on the poor Karina here. Um, and they're still invading. Clint is in a whole lot of trouble. Is Clint gonna go down? Yes, indeed. He get pushed back by Tommy, and Tommy is going to find Jerry's heal just in time. And so. Even though Bruno did die top lane, uh, at what cost? Bottom lane, they end up getting three kills, three to zero, and Team ADC is going for the turtle at this time. So, already another a thousand three hundred gold lead. Meanwhile, Fanny did get top tower for Team Mesquite uh, Mesqui right here, MSKI. So, which put them back um, by a tiny bit. But after a turtle, the lead just got extended, right? We all know how much those 150 gold per player means to a team such early on. So this is actually going to be really, really interesting. Um, and we shall see. Now, oh, Saber is not able to invade that blue buff. He knows he, he has timer on it, obviously, but he did not. Fanny has timer on it as well. And Fanny got it just in time before Saber showed his swording skills, right? And now Saber's returning back to mid. We have entire, entire team AD rotating mid, as well as Jason coming in. MSK is getting ready. Tommy is standing in the bush right here. They know Tommy is in this bush. MSK knows something's not. Tommy did come in for the for the okay. first ability. Cal is enraged. Is Cal gonna set up an ult right here? Nobody is following him, so he's not using his ult just yet, but he's enraged. He's getting low, though. He used the ultimate right here. It's knock up one person. Congress ultimate coming in, and meanwhile, save a fan is getting zoned back. So Fanny's not able to jump in after a cost ultimate, uh, the Minotaur's ultimate. So we're well played by Team ADC right here, and look at zone from both Jerry as well as Kagura. I mean, this absolutely amazing zoning abilities, right? Kagura, we all know, is one of the most annoying mage to go against. And now you have a Steve on top of that with a super lar large area as Oh! OG coming in from Tigger right here! Get two of them, not pu to push them back! Fanny come in, so much damage! Fanny is not able to kill anyone right here! Jerry's ultimate immediately come down! That heal is absolutely insane! If Team if team MSK does not find a strategy to go against that heal, this might be a really difficult game. Because we see Tommy diving the tower already twice. With that heal, they're just not dying. Under the tower. Under the tower. So, Jerry is a real MVP here, right? Jerry is absolutely real MVP here. Uh, meanwhile, top lane, Fanny got picked off. Uh, unfortunately for her. And that means she can lose another blue buff. At this point, Team SKI is quite behind. Um, they definitely put off some interesting games so far. And again, they're holding their ground. Bruce Lee is not able to, not able to be very effective this game at all. I mean... Now Karina on the bottom lane, top tower gonna go down. So f five towers now in an advantage for Team ADC. I mean, sorry, four towers in an advantage. Um, did they actually take the blue buff also? Now they're actually going for the lore right here. We have four people from Team ADC. Tommy is zoning at mid lane and baiting, letting enemy know that we are at mid lane. But actually, indeed, they're taking this lord. So this is a strategy. With, we see Tommy do quite often, right? 
You have one person distracting the entire team, and meanwhile, the rest of the team go for the Lord peacefully without any interruptions. Meanwhile, Turtle just got refreshed. Fanny, Tommy's gonna defend this tower successfully. Fanny does not want to join the party, and she's gonna fly away just in time. Miss some strings there. Lord's gonna go down mid lane, and that means the entire ADC might rotate bottom lane. We're all to see. Actually, they're just going to go go back to mid and protect the Lord. So we'll see. The turtle is actually gonna get initiated here. Are they gonna go for the turtle though? Lord is right here now. Michael is going for the turtle uh, solo all by himself. Meanwhile, Saber taking the blue buff and Fanny without blue buff is not able to be effective at all. MSK Panda. Sir, what's your command? Looks like Tommy's still pushing bottom lane uh, on the Tigreal all by himself, and the rest of the team, rest of the team. Um, are just defending the Lord and they're gonna get another tier 2 tower here. Oh, ultimate from Saber here. Sa uh, Fanny luckily get away just in time. Two blue buff are con in control by Team AD right here. So ADC, they are they do have a huge advantage at this point. They have about 8,000 gold lead. And the only thing that Team team MSK are doing, as you can see are doing right now, Fanny split pushing as much as he can. He's in a lot of trouble actually. He didn't know it. He's out of energy. Saber's ultimate isn't coming in. <laughs> Get pushed all over the tower right here, and oh, Fanny's gonna go down. That chase from the saber. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that ultimate. You know Fanny gonna fly out. Immediately use ultimate, fly the whole way with Fanny to their base. Got that kill. Okay, so the second game. Uh, now they're in. They're in sieging of this tower right here. Bruce Lee charging his first speed, looking to go in here. He actually missed, and look at Kagura. Wizard zoning and again, it's decent. Her zoning so badly. Tower might go down free here. Oh, see, taking so much damage. See, ultimate, ultimate is going down at the same time. Tower gonna go down. Without say, Karina get instantly bursted. The kick from Bruce Lee though on on the healer this time maybe the right target, but it's not enough. Um, not enough. And Bruce Lee ended up dying as well. Bruce Lee with a tank build is not enough. Minotaur and Fanny is so smart. Minus ultimate is gonna come down. But it's not enough damage. Fanny just came back. And they are the lost inhibitor, they're not going in any further, so... So far, ADC is dominating this game with set with 10,000 gold lead at this point. A comfortable 10,000 gold lead, one inhibitor down, and only one tower went down for Team ADC on the top lane. As you can see, it's the, the lonely tower, and everybody else is now rotating bottom lane. Everybody else is rotating bottom lane. Team MSK has no choice, just staying there. They got enemy blue, and Team ADC is staying in base. They're now coming out. Uh, we have three people rotating top now to get get a top wave. Try to push the wave back as fast as uh, as fast as they can to see if they have a chance. Minotaur again is just not in rage at the right time. This game, Minotaur is not in rage in the right time. Like when he is in rage, the team is either not ready or too far away. Now he's not completely not angry right now. This can be really dangerous. Tigro does have mortality. That means he can go in and dive the tower pretty easily. The entire team clumps, uh, clumps are together. Mid wave and bottom wave pushed to the tower right here. It's, uh, it can be weird deadly because if they decide to commit to a team fight, the other lane is going to be pushed. And here we see have five defending this. Are they able to defend this tower? Bottom wave push here again. Tom Mermaid is not able to push his poor Karina back on Genesis. And they're going to get the tower right here. Yes. Michael just stay in the back doing the damage. The tower's gonna go down without any defense. I mean, they're free to go in, but Kyle's not enraged. Kyle's trying to out attack, guess I'm enraged. Mid inhibitor is in a lot of trouble as well. Mid inhibitor almost gonna go down here. One more attack. Mid inhibitor gonna go down. Three inhibitor down already. T was ultimate gonna connect with two people and knock them back. Now Jerry's ultimate is gonna come down for from the heel right here. Bruce Lee is in a lot of trouble. Kyle died without using ultimate. Panda trying to do as much damage as he can. It's not enough. Now cleansing a whole lot of trouble. That passive from Jerry doing so much damage. Everybody's in full tower lock mode on. And second game is going to go down for Team ADC. Is confirmed. ADC will take the first win. And they are going to go for outplayed tomorrow. GG well played. GG well played. Wow. Wow. Congratulations to Team ADC taking the second win. This time they let Team SKI know that they're the real victory. They're going to play with Team uh, OP tomorrow. So definitely, definitely well played. Um, <laughs> with their, I mean, the Minotaur pick is just pretty interesting because, to be honest with you, Minotaur at this current uh, meta is just very um, awkward because it takes so long to get enraged. So it's a good pick, but it's also an awkward pick at the same time.